Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to model an antique chair in Revit or you create your own families. Okay, in this project, I use, okay, in the families, new and I go to, because this is chair family and I choose the millimeter or English and I choose the metric furniture to this kind of project okay so before we go in the straight to the tutorial i would like to ask everyone that please view every part of this video and please don't forget to like share or subscribe so everyone updated once i make a video tutorial like this okay so first thing i will do is to command rp for the shortcut and i set this into 200 okay and i just simply command mm to mirror it in the other side so i dimension it now okay so this is 400 and i set this equal okay because this is the uh, antique chair and there is some uh, bend okay some crazy bend or crazy design so i just use this reference line as my width guide okay so now i set this into 250 okay and mm for the shortcut to mirror it in the other side okay and di for the dimension and make uh, equal okay so now what i'm going to do next is to set the uh, height okay so right okay go to right and reference plane again okay and i just set this into 1m okay pick this and Hold the control shift to copy and set this into 500 okay so i just dimension it this okay and make uh, equal okay so now what i'm going to do is to go to create and we use the tools of the furniture okay so in this uh, model or shape i use the swept blend okay so i will explain it this how to use this swept blend okay this swept blend is giving you a more uh, shapes okay into your design so this is very important okay so now i go to swept blend okay and i go to sketch path and i choose the spline and i just simply draw start from this reference line up to this reference line and drag it all the way up to the reference line in the top and right click and cancel it okay Okay, what I'm going to do next is to make a, a control of this one. Okay, so how can I do that? I just simply pick this and I just use the add control for this one. I, I just simply pick this one. Okay, add control again, pick this. Okay. And pick again, add control. I want more control in this part. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to add the control again, okay, and I just simply use or modify it by moving this one, okay. So because antique, okay, wood antique design, so I just uh, make this kind of shape, okay. So now what I'm going to do next. 
is to hit finish okay and double click this okay and i just go to elevation front okay command z enter to your keyboard okay and now i just draw a rectangle in this part okay and i just set this into 50 okay pick this okay and drag it in the other reference okay and now i go to arc okay and i just use this okay this appealy uh, art okay pick this mm for the shortcut okay mirror this one de for the delete and tr to trim it this okay in autocad delay okay and again delay arc okay and mm to mirror it again in the other side tr okay so this is the uh, one profile okay so now i just go to hit finish and now i just simply kick pick this okay and now i go to reference level and i just draw a arc in this part okay in of for the shortcut and i give this offset of 50 and i just simply use the arc and pick this mm for the shortcut mirror okay sorry delete or you can directly go to the arc okay so now what i'm going to do next is to hit finish and finish go to 3d so because i as i have mentioned this is an antique type or antique wood type okay so this is the one already so if i just uh, pick this and go to edit category and now i go to create new material rename wood apply and hit okay you need to go to appearance okay and go here and choose go to wood okay i just choose the wood for the material okay so wood and i just choose the okay this elm apply okay so this is the one already okay and now we need to make a leg for this uh, chair okay so i'm going to do is to go to reference level and now i go to create again okay so it's very easy to follow The blend okay so i just use this ellipse okay i just simply draw a ellipse here okay so 20 15 okay go to edit tab first okay and now go to ellipse and draw a ellipse 
25 by 15 okay or 20 okay and hit finish now we can counter check it into 3d and you can pick it this by dragging all the way up or go to right to more uh, modify it okay so it, you need to make some adjustment for that one okay and you can command mm again to draw or mirror it in the other side and you can drag it like this okay like that now go to reference level hold the control chip command mm or the shortcut and now you complete already your simple chair okay so it's uh, very easy okay now you can change the material it this the same so you have already the antique type of chair Okay. So before I forget, okay, I just want to show you this one more tip here, okay? So once you want to join this one, okay, because it, we will see there is some overlap to this one okay you can use the join okay go to pick this okay and pick this one okay to cut it okay that is the tips for that one okay so it's more clear you need to cut so it's more better okay so i hope that this uh kind of tutorial is helping to everyone to create your own material uh, families into your rabbit projects okay so this is the antique design that i made okay so i can use this into my project okay i hope that it's very clear to each and everyone this kind of tutorial and don't please don't forget to like share or subscribe so you can hit also the notification bell so you are always updated once i make a video tutorial like this and if you want more uh, tips and tricks to, to modeling some complex shape you can visit into my previous videos in this channel so thank you to all of you See you again in my next video.